obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate a buff but in mild burner. This project is the CFP simulation of combustion in a bluff body mild burner. In fact, a burner is a device that combines a certain amount of air with fuel in a safe place, converting fuel energy into heat energy, which also produces some gas as a result of this combustion process. The flame produced in the burner is transmitted into the interior of the chamber by two methods of convection and radiation. Therefore, the radiation model should also be used in the present model. Also, since the combustion process takes place within the combustion chamber, the species transport model is also used. The way this burner works is that the fuel is sprayed through a special jet inlet into the chamber, and the gas flows in symmetrically into the chamber in four directions, thus combining the fuel and air from the flame. Also, the operating system of the enclosure is that the gas flow path inside the chamber is cyclic, and some of it exits the exhaust section, and another part of it returns to the enclosure from the same circular path. The three-dimensional geometry of the present model is designed by the Design Modeler software. Since the present model has a symmetrical structure, only one part of it is drawn at the angle of 90 degrees, and the two lateral surfaces of the present section act as symmetry boundaries. The model consists of three pipes with a small diameter called inlet ducts and one outlet pipe with a small diameter. The meshing of the present model is performed by ANSYS meshing software. The mesh was unstructured and the element number was equal to 1,107,286. In the inlet and outlet sections, the boundary layer mesh is used to increase the accuracy of the fluid behavior. Uh, also, by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluent software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality, and etc. Now, there are several assumptions taken into account in this project. The first one is that the type of our solver is set to be pressure based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. Also, as for the velocity formulation, we have taken the absolute formulation for this. And as for the time study, we have selected a steady time study since we didn't want our results to be a function of time. Now, in order to introduce the chemical species participating in the combustion process to the software, we click on File, and then go over Read, and then go over PDF. And then select the combustion PDF, which is sent to you by the rest of the file. Now, under the Chemistry tab, under the State Relation, you can see that we have selected the chemical equilibrium which enables the equilibrium chemistry model for the chemical reaction. Also under the energy treatment, you can see that we have enabled the non-adiabatic process. After clicking on the edit button in the period window under the momentum tab, in front of the velocity magnitude, you can see that the air enters this boundary with the velocity magnitude of 2 meters per second. After double clicking on the controls button, a new window will appear showing you different values for current number and under relaxation factors. The current number is a factor for how fast we are progressing in our simulation process. And for problems with high nonlinearity, we should decrease this current number. We may also change the under relaxation factor. These factors may be between 0 and 1. Based on the simulation and the project we are doing, we may change this under relaxation factor, but remember that the values set in here are the recommended values for the pro project, and we highly recommend you to not change these values. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals or reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that and equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right-clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence but the residual must be checked as well.
Now, as you can see in this velocity contour, uh, most of the computational domain has a low speed, but as you can see near the inlet boundary of the fuel, uh, you can see the velocity has increased because there is a fuel jet entering our computational domain at the boundary. Also, in this temperature contour, you can easily see the temperature changes in our computational domain, and you can also see easily how the temperature has increased near the places where our combustion takes place. And finally, in the oxygen mass fraction contour, you can easily see the oxygen has a higher mass fraction in the sections near the air inlet. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.